It's wrong reader, it's the universe. I'm Ron Reader, and this is Ron Reader Digs the Universe, and tonight, why liberals hate America. A few weeks back on that Facebook Baytown gossip page I talk about so much here, I was in an argument with some conservative, a self-described veteran about Trump or some shit, and he told me something I hadn't, I hadn't heard in quite a while. His response to my telling him that we have to stop Trump and his fascist movement from destroying the nation I love was to register total disgust that I, a liberal, would love my country. Everybody knows that liberals hate America, he said, his words dripping with contempt. He didn't even want me pretending to love America. Well, what the fuck do you say to that? I told him that he'd, he'd better get his shit together on this because he's going to be seeing a lot more liberals running their mouths on, on the topic in the weeks and months to come as the election heats up. But I don't think I persuaded him. For a conservative, you see, it is a foundational core identity belief that liberals hate America. Now, there are probably strains of this dating all the way back to World War I, but we really start to see conservatives weaponizing the liberal America hater idea during the Red Scare after World War II. Conservatives used it to beat liberal, uh, liberal opponents literally senseless as they cowered in fear of the anti-communist juggernaut. Because, you know, social programs has the word social in it, like socialism, like, you know, communism. And sometimes conservative trash logic is very effective when it comes to fear-mongering, like during the Vietnam era, when radical anti-war leaders seemingly embraced the America uh, hater label, what with Hanoi Jane Fonda, who my dad hates to this day, and others. Uh, that shit helped Nixon get re-elected in 1972. The silent majority doesn't like America haters. Anti-war radicalism had all but vanished by 9-11 and the Iraq invasion, but the conservatives are just fucking addicted to this shit. They had already, for some years throughout the 90s, been calling liberals traitors at the direction of House Majority Leader Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich from once again uh, going all in on the America-hater attack against liberals. George Bush was re-elected in a landslide in 2004. Liberals hating America has been very good for conservatives over the decades, and it is by now something that you must believe if you're a conservative. And, and, and that belief goes, it goes something like this. You must love all our wars you must love cops. You must love the flag and display it only as conservatives direct. You must have a Christian spiritual attitude toward sacred American documents and our founders. You must love Jesus and your family. Now, if you don't do all that, I mean, to the satisfaction of Conservatives who always sit in judgment of you anyway because you're a liberal, well, if you don't do any of that, then you must necessarily hate America. When you lay it all out like that, when you see exactly what conservatives mean when they say that liberals hate America, well, Jesus Christ, it's just so fucking stupid. Here's how you love America. Be politically active and civically engaged. Pursue for the nation the goals described in the preamble to the Constitution. You know, 
we the people in order to form a more per you, you you get the idea right and and that's that's about it it's not rocket science be a good citizen make make the nation better and that's by and large what liberals are about now compare that to the virtuous behavior of maga and well fuck them I'm Ron Reader, and this has been Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Join me, Ron Reader, again next week for another episode of Ron Reader Digs the Universe. Now, conservatives, in, in stark contrast to liberals, conservatives love America. They, they love, 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 love America. It, it's just the people that they hate.